Hey everyone, this is Music Tech Help Guy. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create easy, repetitive synth leads, just basically with a single button press using any synthesizer you like. I'm using the ES2 here, using the chord trigger, the arpeggiator, as well as the scripter MIDI effects plugin using the MIDI to plugin parameters preset. So in my video I put out yesterday, I went over the MIDI to plugin parameters preset. Essentially what this does is it allows you to assign a MIDI continuous controller like the modulation wheel to any targets of your choice within an audio effects plugin or within um, an instrument. So first, let me give you a quick demonstration of something you can do here. Now, the synth lead, the repeating synth lead, the sort of ostinato uh, high synth lead you're hearing in the background, keep in mind, while this is playing, it's only two notes. These are the only two notes that are actually being triggered and being played. It's the MIDI effects plugins and the delay plugin that are doing the work for us here. So let's give this a listen. Okay, so next let me show you how to set this up. So I've got the ES2 here as my instrument. I'm just using one of the synth lead presets that I've tweaked a little bit. And the next thing I'm gonna throw on here is the chord trigger. Now what the chord trigger is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to convert a single note into multiple notes. Now right now this synth is on legato, which essentially means it's monophonic. So I'm gonna put this on polyphonic right now just so we can he hear all of the notes. So with the chord trigger MIDI effects plugin, what this allows you to do is assign a chord to each note on your MIDI controller, but have that note trigger more than one note. So the way you can create a chord is you can click the learn button here, click on a trigger key, so I'll click on E flat here. And then down here, you can click in what notes you want in that chord. And then when you're done, you can just uncheck learn. So when I play E flat, I get that chord. Now you're hearing a lot of distortion on this just because the uh, the drive is pulled up and the distortion's pulled up. Let me pull those down just for a bit. And then on C, I already have this chord. And then on G, I have this chord. Now, as a polyphonic chord, those chords probably aren't going to sound so great, but in an arpeggio, they'll sound great. So the next thing I'll do is I'll add in the arpeggiator. And I'm just using a 16th note up and down pattern on the second variation. So now instead of playing a chord, when I hold down just one note, so like when I hold down C3 here, it actually sends that whole chord through the arpeggiator. So let me add the drive back in here. And I'll put this back in legato. I'm not gonna use that E flat chord, but in my MIDI sequence up here, I've just got C and G, C and G, just going back and forth. So that gives us our motion, that gives us our synth lead, our ostinato idea here. So next what I can do is I can use the Scripter plugin to modulate some effects on this instrument. 
So I'm gonna pull up a stereo delay here. So what I want is I want the modulation wheel to control the ES2's cutoff frequency for the first filter. And then I want it to also control the ES2 drive control. So as I showed in the previous video, you just go learn plugin parameter, then click on that parameter that you wanna learn, and then you can set a minimum and maximum range for it. And then when I move the modulation wheel, you'll see those parameters moving. So you'll see the cutoff frequency and the drive moving. But what you're also seeing is the feedback knobs in the stereo delay. The left and right feedback knobs are also moving. So what I did with these is I did the same thing. I just clicked to learn plugin parameter, clicked on that knob, set a max and minimum range, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So they start like this, with the minimum lower and the maximum higher, which would be normal. So if I pull the modulation wheel up, you see the feedback knobs actually moving up. If I pull it down, they move down. But if you swap this, you can invert the control. So I could just invert one of them if I wanted to, or both of them. I'm actually going to invert both of them. So when I move my modulation wheel up, the delay feedback goes down, the drive goes down, but the cutoff goes up. When I pull the modulation wheel down, the cutoff goes down, the drive goes up, and the feedback goes up. So with the modulation wheel down, I get this sort of filtered, softer lead with a little bit of drive on it, but it also has a much longer delay because the feedback has been increased. When I pull the modulation wheel up, I get a brighter signal with less delay. And like I mentioned in the last video, because we're just controlling the modulation wheel, you don't have to use track automation to write in automation. You can just arm the channel and then hit record and then just draw in the modulation wheel motion and it'll record it as region-based automation. Now notice that it only joins uh, the region automation to the first region. All you have to do is drag over all these and hit J, and it'll join all those regions together. Now another way to do this is if you don't want to go through and play in the automation, you could join these together, hit A, pull up your region automation, go down and select modulation as my automation parameter, and I could draw this in. So I could start with this all the way down, then at measure nine, after one repetition, pull it all the way up. Then maybe pull it all the way back down again and just sort of alter this cycle back and forth. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, so that's how you can create really easy ostinato synth leads using the chord trigger, arpeggiator, and scripter. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and if you'd like to make a monthly contribution to the channel, you can check me out over on Patreon as well. Thanks for the support, and thanks for watching.